Hello everyone and welcome to White Rabbit Skin Care's channel. If you don't know who I am, I am Melanie and I am the founder and director of White Rabbit. Um, we recently did a customer survey regarding some feedback on our current branding and from that um, we received over 300 responses which was amazing and I'm so grateful for it. But we also received a number of um, like comments and queries that I thought it would be best to address by doing a YouTube video. So I have got a list on my trusty laptop and I'm just going to run through. Um, there is about, I think it's maybe about 12 or so. So we'll just get into it. And if you do have any further um, questions or anything like that, don't uh, be afraid to leave us a comment and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Despite trying to buy products like yours, they are often more expensive and sometimes the cost makes the product product totally unaffordable. I can see where um, people are coming from in terms of our pricing is higher than something that you would perhaps get in the lights of Boots or Superdrug. But I always tell people that you are paying for quality, you are paying for... Um, the ingredients because we use at least 98% natural ingredients and the majority of them are organic as well we just don't widely shout about that because they're not 100% organic the quality is there and of course our products are often a slightly larger size than your typical um, high street product for example so our moisturizers are um, typically 100ml the sedums and the beard oil are 50ml and even something like the um, the eye cream and the lip balm, they're both 15ml. And when you look at similar products, they're often a lot smaller. So you definitely get what you pay for there. Love the idea behind it, but don't identify with the name and the branding is a little boring. Um, well, first and foremost, thank you for your feedback because that is what we were looking for. In terms of the name, people often ask me, like, where did you come up with White Rabbit Skin Care? And really, it's a combination of different things. I mean... To me, when I think of um, white rabbits, it's purity, it's innocence, it's even something like magic because my favourite film when I was younger was Alice in Wonderland. Um, and of course, it links back to the animal aspect because I'm so passionate about, um, you know, animal against animal cruelty. And I just think we want something that's a sort of shining light of, of positivity. And of course, it's unusual and we want it to stand out. In terms of the branding being a little boring, I feel like that's a sort of um, objective opinion. Um, but we are going to be working on branding with different companies going forward. So we've definitely noted that there. We'd, we would love to know where the brand is retailed. So we do have a number of different stockists now, which we are so thankful about. If you pop onto our website, there is a link at the top um, which shows you a list of all our stockists. And of course, if you ever want to know if there's one maybe nearby, then don't be afraid to either email. Um, but we're always looking for new stockists. So if you can think of somewhere that you could recommend or you would like to see your products being stocked, then give us a shout. The tins can get a bit messy, so it would have been nice to have the option of a larger pump bottle that can be refilled. Um, I have totally taken that comment on board. I appreciate that the tins for something like a moisturiser perhaps aren't ideal. Um, they're fine for things like the balms, which don't move. Um, but really, I was just looking for something that just wasn't plastic and the aluminium option um, was a good one at the time. I am going to go to, there's a packaging convention taking place in February and I'm going to go and speak to different suppliers there because I'm really keen for us to be as plastic free as possible. But then again, we also want um, to try and source packaging that's also practical as well. Um, can you develop an anti-aging product range? Um, and then I've also linked in here, there was another comment about we'd like to see a bigger range of skincare and then comments about a body cream and so on. Um, yes, I would love to expand the range and I'm always thinking about different ways um, or products that we can move into. And all, it's great that um, people have suggested products they would like to see because obviously I want to cater for as many people as possible and our customer base. So certainly if you do have suggestions of products you would love to see then always let us know. In terms of launching, well developing and launching products, I'm afraid it's not an overnight process. So first of all you have to go through the whole formulation stage and once you've got the product that you are happy with, you then of course have to send it off to be tested. Um, 
Products go through typically at least two, if not three, testing stages. And it can take up to, providing that they pass first time each of these stages, it can take up to four, five, even six months. So, as I say, it's not an overnight thing. Um, and we are looking to launch new products, but um, it just takes a bit of time. <laughs> Do your products contain palm oil? No. And I know that's a bit of a contentious issue at the moment. And um, there's a bit like the whole plastic awareness with various adverts and things that have been going on, people are now a lot more palm oil aware and we do plan to keep it out of our products for as long as possible. I was disappointed that there were no, that was plastic tape used in the parcel I received in the mail. I would prefer you to use plain paper tape. So um, that's funny that comment has came in because we have now just used up all the original tape that we had got when I had started White Rabbit, which was four years ago. Um, so it shows you how many rolls we had to get through. I am not one to waste things, so I will use things up rather than just chuck them away to make a point. But we have now moved from the plastic tape into um, paper, printed paper tape. But you'll start to receive that um, with your orders very soon. I do wish the smaller sizes came in plastic free patching as for gifts or to try a new product out. The larger sizes are quite expensive. Um, I'm presuming that refers to, so the moisturiser you can get in either 100ml or 30ml. Um, the 30ml, we've moved away from the um, the airless pump containers, which were, were made all plastic, to an aluminium bottle with a pump lid. Obviously in an ideal world, I would like to not have the plastic pump lid, but we are trying as hard as we can. I can't tell you how, um, or stress, how much we are trying we would love to be a plastic free and a zero waste company and that is in our you know our three five year company goals but you just have to stick with us and support us on that journey we are trying as hard as we can and we really appreciate the fact that you you know you invest us in terms of buying our products so we're working on it and we're trying our hardest <laughs> i think the label design should be more natural looking Again, as I mentioned, we're going to be looking to work with graphic designers and um, other people in the industry going forward. At the moment, I am quite proud of the logo and the design because I think it's quite unisex. It doesn't scream like obviously um, male or female um, and it's kind of simplicity is the key, I guess. But we'll take that um, comment on board. I'm slightly disappointed that styrofoam was used to protect the product in transport. Um, well, first and foremost, we have never used styrofoam. We moved from what was called wood wool, what are called, uh, it's called EcoFlow, so it's um, actually made of starch, potato starch. Again, we'll insert a clip so you can see it, but you'll have experienced them when you've received them in, in, the, in the mail, when you've received an order. Um, you could essentially eat them <laughs> if you really wanted to, um, because as I say, they're, they're literally made from starch and they actually dissolve in water which you can test out for yourself. But it means that when you get your box of products, you can either put the packing peanuts in your food waste bin or just in your, like in a compost heap or in your regular bin, and they'll just dissolve literally within a matter of um, days, if not hours, depending on if they've been exposed to water. I would really love to see baby child friendly products for my kids. So again, that's another area or a range that we would love to expand into. At the moment, you could, um, use your products on um, little ones um, because as I say they're 98% natural um, ingredients. I would just say to everyone though just because a product is natural doesn't mean there isn't opportunity for reactions or anything like that. You can still be allergic to essential oils or any ingredient so always do a patch test either within like the inside of your elbow or behind your ear or even like on your jawline just and wait 24 hours. I would love to see your range expand and if possible a return recycling scheme. The first part I've already addressed, the return recycling scheme we do actually, um, I think we need to emphasise it more but if you send back your um, used packaging we will give you 50 pence per item and website credit and we'll also refund you your um, postage costs. Uh, unsure if organic or not. Um, as I previously mentioned, we do use um, a percentage of organic ingredients in our range, but to be fully organic certified by the Soil Association, you have to use 100% um, organic ingredients, 
we are trying our hardest as with most things to to work towards that so watch this space and last but not least perhaps demonstrations on the website of someone using the product how it made their skin feel etc which has hit the nail on the head with what we want to do in terms of our marketing website social media everything going forward because it is all about how it makes you feel and we would love more than anything for people to send them things like before and after pictures even like a little demo of how you use your product but from our point of view we're also going to be doing things like how to guides in terms of like facial massage the routines how you best getting the benefits out of your products, what's in your products, so on and so forth. So I always like to say thank you so much for your ongoing support. I can't actually tell you how much it means to me and for people to take the time to fill out things like brand surveys is just brilliant. And all I want to do is constantly improve White Rabbit. I want to give you what you want and your feedback and your support really means the world to me. Thank you again for taking the time to watch this video too and we'll be back in touch soon. Bye! Um, when... Pardon me? I think I'll cut that out, sorry. The, I had to, believe it or not, I had to find all these down but now I'm like going through and thinking So thank you again. <laughs>